how to write a sql statement for implementing alter delete and update commands hello everyone i'm sukanya from go Adhip technologies and in today's video we are going to see that how could we implement alter update and delete using the sql statements so firstly we need to know that what is a database language database languages are used to read update and store data in any database read update manipulate and store data in a database using database languages so there are four types of dbms languages those are ddl that is data definition language bml that is data manipulation language dcl data control language and tcl that is transaction control language so if we start firstly with ddl that is data definition language ddl is used when we create database and tables alter them rename them and then drop them in previous videos we have also seen that how to create a database and now i will tell you again because it is needed because if there is no database then we cannot do the further specific recommendations so for creating a database we need to follow the syntax create database and then database name so if i want to create a database naming go i do hub then i have to write the query create database go edu hub The query is okay and the database is being created. Next, I'm going to use this database so that the further changes could be shown in this database only. Now I can make a table in the database GoEduHub. Here the table requirement says we need to create a table naming bank and the fields are ID having data type int also having a constraint primary key which is going to auto increment one after one the other field is name which ha have which is having data type varchar and the constraint is not null it means you have to specify a name it cannot be left null so if i write this query in my command line so I can see that the table has been created. The query is OK, having the constant primary key and not null. Now I could insert the values in the tables and then the rows will be shown. Right now it is showing that it is having zero rows. It is because the structure of the table is being created and entries are not there. That's why it is showing us zero rows created. I can alter this table also and i can alter the database too so if i want to alter the table naming bank and i want to add another column after name i want to add suppose last name and i have want to give any other constraints in its specifications so i can alter that table by running this command and i have altered the table that means alter table bank and i have added a column we can see that the alter is done by using describe command and we can check that what are the fields so here we can see that it is having id name and the alter which i made here of the column which i included last name that has also been included in the table structure along with all the constraints now my table name is bank and i can rename the table also for example, if I want to rename my table bank to student, that means I want to change the existing table name to any new table name, then I can use the command rename table to student. And if I run my command here, query is okay. And now the table is being changed to student. So if I want to use the describe command again, then I have to write here, student because the table name is being changed and the fields and ids are same it's just that here the table name is bank which i have renamed to table name student next 
if there are any entries in the table right now we don't have any entries in the table but if i have and i want to empty the table entries not the complete structure then i use the command truncate truncate is a command used to empty the fields of the table and the entries of the table but it doesn't deletes the structure of the table so if i run the truncate command truncate table and the new table name is student not bank then it will show me that the query is okay because there are no entries in the table so the entries if there were any entries then they would have been deleted next is if i want to drop that table that means if i want to delete that table then i would use drop command and the syntax is drop table and the table name that is student this query is also okay now the database go edu hub doesn't have any tables because i have dropped the table next if i want to drop the database if i want to drop the existing database for that i will use the syntax drop database and the name of database with the help of that i can drop that particular database in which we are working on and the query is okay and the database has been deleted you can also check by using show databases command and here you can see that there are no database having name go ahead you have that means the database has been deleted from the system next set of language is dml that is data manipulation language dml language used to manipulate the database like inserting the data updating or retrieving record from a table for example if the existing database has any table naming student then we can select the table and retrieve the information for example i have created a table here you can see that create table student having fields name var char and i have given constant not null it cannot be left empty and last name also not null now if i run the select query now that is select asterisk from student it will show us empty set because we have just created the table we have not inserted any value in the table that's why it is showing us an empty set now if we want to insert a data for example insert into student name comma last name where the values would be the first name is nams and the last name is shivi so then the values would be inserted into the tables for that we use insert command and if i run this command in my command line query is okay and the one row is affected because you have inserted one row in that table having the last name and the first name as nams and shivi respectively now if i want to update then i use update command and i can update the values inserted in the table for that suppose update student and set name dia where last name is shivi so in that table if there is any person or any column having last name as shivi then the first name would automatically be saved as dia so this is what update command does and if i run this query then you can check that query is okay one row is matched one is changed that means why it has changed because now nams is been replaced with dia that's what we wanted to do where last name is shivi we want to insert a new first name there that is dia so that's why one row is matched and one is changed that particular thing has been changed now if i run the select query now we can see that the name is dia and the last name is shivi because we have updated after inserting the values into the table we can also delete the records by using delete command that is delete from student where the name is dia so this one entry would be deleted from the table and the query is okay which means this entry is now being deleted and now if we run again the select command we will see empty set because there is only one entry having name dia and last name shivi and that entry is been 
deleted so we can see that now there are no entries in the table hence it is an empty set merge merge perform upsert that is update and insert operation together that is merge command next type of control languages is dcl that is data control language now data control language actually grant privilege to a user using the grant statement and revoke the privilege using revoke statement that means you can give a privilege to user using grant statement and you can revoke its privileges by using the revoke statement grant gives the privilege to access the database and revoke take back the privilege from the user so that it cannot access the database now we can see a query here that is create user the at the rate local host which means the is the user which is identified by 123 and grant all privileges on student student is the table name to dia at the rate local host and then flush the privileges and give her the privileges grant her all the privileges so that see she can assess the database and the table student this is how we can grant a privilege here you can see that I have run the query that is create user dia at the rate localhost which would be identified by 123. I have grant her the privileges on student table and I have flushed her all the privileges too. All the queries are okay that means now the user is dia and she is the local host of the system using the database goedu hub and the table student. Now, if I want to revoke the privileges, if I don't want Dia to assess the privileges, then you can see that there is a command revoke all privileges on student from Dia and flush privileges. Again, flush back the privileges. If I run this command, then the query is okay and Dia localhost has been revoking all the privileges and all the privileges are being flushed from her. The next set of command is TCL commands that is transaction control language. It manages transaction in a database using the transaction control language. Transactions are done in bank and other online sites where e-commerce sites the transaction is being done. Transaction control language has three set of commands that is commit, save point, and rollback commit is used to save the work for that firstly we have to begin a transaction and the query is start transaction then we can insert the student values again and then we can commit the work that means we have committed it if we again want to start a transaction for save point and rollback then we would insert the queries or insert the values and then we can roll back Rollback is least store to last commit. That means if we want to undo something, that is the work of rollback. It restores to the last commit statement being made. Save point is a point in transaction to rollback later. Save points can be where there can be various save points in a database so that we can do rollback over there. For example, if I want to start a transaction so in my command line i'm going to write start transaction and the query is okay it means the transaction has been started i am inserting the values dia and shivi the values are being inserted and then i am committing the work over here i am saying that the work is being committed it is absolutely correct so i just want to after you run the commit command you will see that the command line automatically closes now why does it happen it happened because your work has been saved and now you have exited the transaction the transaction is made complete if you want to start the transaction again then you have to again use the following database and the table and then you could start the transaction using the rollback command 
So now when we again start the command line of MySQL, then we have to use that database because we have committed in the previous transaction. So it automatically closes because the user has committed his work. I start the transaction here. Then I insert the value Dia and Shivi and one row is affected. I do rollback and then zero rows are affected because it again goes to the first start transaction command as this thing has not been saved this thing is yet not been committed so that's why it has been rolled back so this is how the thing goes with the transaction command language in this video we have seen that how could we use alter update and delete using the sql statements where the database languages are dml ddl dcl and tcl in next videos, we will learn about more queries. Thank you.